Hey guys, Harry here, and I just wanted to do a quick little review of uh, the Nisekoi creator's his new series. His new series is called um, Toki Doki, and the one shot translations basically just come out. And I just wanted to spew my thoughts on it because I wasn't expecting this. Obviously, it's a one shot, so it's the premise for the entire series because I'm assuming it's serialized. I haven't really researched it. I've literally just finished reading it and I just wanted to give my first impressions because I loved Nisekoi. Obviously the writing and the pacing wasn't the greatest thing about it, but the overall story looking back at it now, I really enjoyed it. And this is like a curveball. Like to me, this, if for me to explain what Tokidoki is without giving too much spoilers, it's basically another sad story. If I could compare it to anything else, it's basically like your lie in April with Nisekoi elements. Like, the art style is very Nisekoi. It's the first thing to pick up because obviously it's the same creator. Like, but the story, go and read it because there's one hell of a curveball in it, which I didn't see coming. The twist is amazing. Um, to give a brief synopsis of what it is. Basically our main character, who I can't remember his name, it's Pigeon, but uh, Hato. Our main character Hato is in the light music band in high school uh, and he meets this new transfer student, typical of course, um, she's called Hatsu and basically she has a heart condition where her life is shortened. Um, sort of like a pacemaker sort of deal but she's only got a certain amount of beats left on her heart and there's technology and stuff inside it but basically she knows how long she's got left to live because her heart's only got it's only gonna last for a certain amount of time so basically um not Hatsu what's his name Hato god these names are so like the same our male main character um he's basically set up in a way that he wants to help her fulfill her life but obviously by doing so he's like conflicted because the more he helps her the more her heartbeat's gonna speed up and then she'll just die sooner but she she wants that so basically that's what this little story is about and then there's a twist right in the middle i don't want to explain but complete left ball did not see it coming and uh we get a very interesting ending and yeah just i would describe this as like it's along the lines of your line april um she gets to uh kimi no usu i think was the name but uh like i i i want to read this week by week because there's so much they can go into and just so much they could dive into it's going to be really good once again this is this has got the strong basis to be uh, a very character driven uh, series depending how they do the development and if he sticks to this as the time frame the build uh it's perfect like the writing and story is there, like, it, it's something which a lot of people didn't really like about Komi's writing and Nisekoi, but the overall story from start to finish, looking at it now in its complete entirety, is really good. I enjoyed it extremely, there's other people who enjoyed it extremely. I should have opened up on Mal and seen what the overall score was, but I imagine it's around an 8 out of 10. So, it was enjoyable, if you like that, you like this, if you like, um, you lie in April, you're probably gonna like this. But I'd say go and read the one shot. The one shot is it's amazing. Like I expected more Nisekoi, and I got something even better. So I'm happy. Um, I'd highly recommend it. I've been Harry, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that great stuff, and let me know in the comments if you've read it, if you're going to read it. Uh, once again, it's called Toki Doki. Uh, only the one shot's out at the moment, so basically chapter zero. So I shall see you soon. Goodbye.